What's going on guys? It's Silver Zero Breaks here. And we're back with another box break. And today I'm opening up this tiny little box of SP Game Use 2019-2020. Now, I wasn't actually intending on opening this because I ordered a box of SPX. But somehow, the card shop sent me this. <laughs> um, so in a funny turn of events, uh, we worked out a deal and they eventually sent me the right product and I ended up keeping this one here. So you know what? I treat this as a bonus video. Might as well open this up, see what's in here. SP Game Used hasn't exactly, you know, I don't find it to be the best value product out there. But you know, if, if there's a chance at getting a draft day marks, I might as well take it, right? So I will be opening this up today. But before I begin, I do want to remind everyone about the 300 subscriber giveaway contest. It's still running. I intend to run it to about mid-September and then I'll announce the winner then. Um, but stay tuned on my Instagram. I will let you know when uh, I'll actually cut off the entries. Um, but the intended uh, draw date is mid-September hopefully coinciding with uh, the end of stage four lockdown here in Melbourne, because you know what? None of the shops are open except for the grocery stores, right? So it's been fun over here. Um, as for the highlight card of the day, I got this sweet looking RPA of Isaac Lidstrom from uh, the 1819 The Cup. And that was from a recent mail day. Got this off of eBay, which is a very nice looking card because that patch is a beaut. As for the movie recommendation of the day, it's a bit of an older one, but it's a fun one. Warm Bodies. It's a fun little zombie rom-com. I quite enjoyed it back in the day. Thought I uh, checked this out again recently and I still enjoy it quite a bit. Quite funny and uh, quite good. So definitely check it out if you haven't had a chance to. So there we go, SP game used. Let's begin, or let the break begin. Huh. All right. So in this product, I. The odds are just really funny, so it's really hard to sort of go through all of it. But there are six cards in each pack, um, with at least four memorabilia, autograph, or premium hits per box. And they say premium hits um, when it's only a simple numbered base card. But anyway, here we go. <laughs> SP game used. Oh, I, I did the wrong side. Should have been the other side. I should know better. I watched too many group breaks where they open it on the other side and they just pull off that white flap, but whatever. I'll do it the right way. Here we go. A pack here. Feels awfully thin though. So that's, that's not good. It feels very thin. All right, so chances of a nice patch card ain't happening here, so. SP game used. Wow, that feels, that does not look good. All right. There's a reason why I don't like SP game used. <laughs> this might be one of them, but here we go. Pack is not cooperating today. There we go, let's open it up. Well, there are six cards, at least nothing's missing, so to speak, but it doesn't seem to be all that impressive now, seeing what's in here. So let's have a look. The first card of this box is a Jordan Bennington base card, number 2102. I think this is the orange um, parallel. But anyway, Jordan Bennington didn't really have a impressive uh, run at the playoffs this year, so which is unfortunate because he is a pretty good goalie. Um, but sometimes, you know, that puck luck just ain't happening, so. There we go, Jordan Bennington, orange. Up next, I got a very nice rookie card. Authentic Rookies of Nick Suzuki, number 83 of 299. And all the rookie cards are based on the numbering of 200 plus the year they were born in. So as for Nick Suzuki, born in 1999 in London, Ontario. Solid player, definitely adding to my random Nick Suzuki PC right <laughs> right here. So there we go, Nick Suzuki, authentic rookies. All right, I'm gonna go straight to the 
back because usually those are not as impressive. And we got a authentic rookie patch of Cole Sherwood, brother of Kiefer Sherwood, who's a duck. <laughs> so there we go, Cole Sherwood patch. So there we go. I don't think he's been making that big of a splash with the Blue Jackets just yet, but we shall see how things go. All right. As for the other card, we got, well, at least this goes to the PC, even though I've got tons of this one already. <laughs> we got the uh, All-Star skill, um, Skills Fabrics of John Gibson. This one's not numbered and it's a single color patch. So there we go, John Gibson. I think I got like three or four of these already just from a uh, group break. So there we go, John Gibson All-Star Game Fabrics. Still a duck and still towards the PC. I might even build a binder full of those at some point too. All right. And then we got, well, we got our auto and this one is the authentic rookie auto of Zach McEwen. Not the Canuck I was looking for, <laughs> but still decent player, Zach McEwen. In the, I'm not too disappointed with that one, so that's all right. The, the other thing that really bugs me about SP Game News is for the price you pay, you only get a sticker auto rather than on card, which is why I tend not to be, you know, out there purchasing this product if, uh, if you know, I'm looking for a sort of a quasi high-end product. So anyway, and lastly, the last card. Oh, that's a pretty nice one. Got a very nice frameworks of Eric Stahl. That's a very nice looking card. It might not be a draft day marks or anything like that, but looks pretty cool. I like it. Nice little gloss to it. Oh, beautiful card. I do have one of these of John Gibson, if I remember, but uh, that's from another group break as well. But this is very nice. I don't know if this is going to fit in the sleeve. Might need a thicker one. Mm, I might need a thicker one. I'll do that later because I think I left all my thick card sleeves somewhere else. So there we go. Frameworks of Eric Stahl. So overall, not that great of a box of SP Game Used. And now you know why I don't buy this very often. <laughs> but anyway, if you do like Box Break King content like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. There'll definitely be more on the way. And uh, follow me on Instagram at Silver Zero Breaks. I'll post a few more updates and teasers over there. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well and you're staying safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.